Hey guys, this is Mike from MNR Automotive. I'm excited to try our brand new product today. We're going to be installing it on the Rivian with the MNR hood mount kit. Take a look. This is a wireless 8 gang switch power system. So what it's going to do, it's going to allow us to control our hood light kit without dragging any additional wiring inside the cab. Everything is wireless. So upon opening, I already saw there's some stickers. These are the stickers that we're going to put on the remote that we're going to take inside the, the vehicle. Uh, like I mentioned, it is a wireless remote. So we're going to be able to control all of our electronics through this panel without dragging any wiring inside the cab of the vehicle, making installation very easy. We have the instruction manual. We have the actual module. We have the main fuse, it's an 80 amp. It's gonna go in between the battery and the control module. We have the main ground that's gonna serve the same purpose between the battery or a ground on a vehicle and a control module. We have a USB cable. My assumption is that it is in order to charge the remote itself. I think I saw it, yeah, there's right here. So. There is batteries in here, so you're gonna have to occasionally charge up the remote. And these are additional brackets and hardware in order to secure it in the engine bay. So it looks fairly easy. We're gonna give power and ground to this module, and we're gonna be able to connect uh, various auxiliary devices and control it wirelessly without taking any wiring inside the cab. Uh, this particular version has eight different buttons and you can see the amperages uh, for every circuit. So it goes from 5 amps all the way to 30. We're only going to use two of this on this hood mount kit. One for the main power, which is the white light. And the second one's going to be for the amber DRL. So the amber DRL barely takes up any amperage, so we'll probably throw that on a 5 amp fuse. And the hood mount kit itself will probably take a 10 amp as well. This is kind of cool because you have a lot of 30 amp ones and that's going to be good for some of the um, some of the accessories that take a big amp draw. This is probably an overkill for this hood mount kit because of the amperage draw and uh, the fuses that are available, but I wanted to test out this product for my future projects. Have you ever done a wiring on an electric vehicle before? Now this is technically my first, but with doing some research, um, aside from having the main battery pack on the vehicle, there's also 12 volt batteries right next to the air conditioning unit. So what we're gonna do is actually take this plastic cover off and here you'll see the 12 volt sources. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I actually want to take this apart. You got to take out four Phillips screws and that's going to be able to show us all the circuits that we're going to be connecting the lights to as well as the main power on the ground. This is actually a really nice quality product. You can see everything is insulated, all the electronics. This is where we're going to connect the power. This is where we're going to connect the ground. And here's all the circuits as well as the amperages that they, ha that they handle with all the fuses. So let's get started. I'll go ahead and take that off. Since this is a positive, we will connect a positive terminal. We're gonna actually go from the bottom. Slide that under and tighten that. And we're gonna do the same thing for the ground. Let this loose. Bring the ground in. Okay, so now we have the power and the ground connected. Notice that the power cable is red. It also has an inline fuse. We can go ahead and connect it to the battery of the vehicle. And then the ground, we can also find a nice ground in the engine bay. And uh, have it all completed, start connecting uh, our accessories. So before we get started with the wiring, let's make sure that we turn the fuse off on the module itself. By pressing this button, it'll reset it. If this arm is actually in line with the fuse, there's power going through it. So in order to, per for safety purposes, so this would be in the on position. Uh, before I do any type of wiring, I want to go ahead and temporarily disconnect this and then we'll go ahead and reconnect it back when everything is properly wired. See, so now this is reset. Now there is no power going through this through the fuse. Ah, I'm about to get into this Rivian. 
<laughs> Come on. So once I got into the front trunk opening of the vehicle, there's a 12 volt power source right behind it. If you lift these up, I'm going to go ahead and use this circuit here. I'm going to slide the circuit under. We're gonna get the ground right next to it in here. Now we can connect all of our accessories directly to the module and control it with a wireless remote. I like to um, connect everything, test out all of my components, and then after we're all set, we're gonna go ahead and hide it and zip tie it into the engine bay. Okay, so now that everything's connected, let's go ahead and see what switch we're going to be using. Um, when looking at the remote control, we're gonna use switch number two for the DRL function and we're going to switch number seven for the white light. Switch number seven is 30 amps. You're not required to do it, but I kind of didn't want to have them very close together. So I'm going to go ahead and separate them on two different ends of the module, but feel free to utilize any button that you want. So we know that, that the white light, we're going to go ahead and connect to switch number seven. So on the positive terminal of it, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the red wire because the red wire is gonna be the power to the white light. So you wanna feed it from the underneath the slot. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up a little bit. Feed the wire through and tighten it back up. So that's switch number seven for the white light. And like I said, that's just a personal preference. And we're gonna do switch number two for the amber DRL. Tug on it to make sure it's a good connection. And I think we're ready to test it. So what we're gonna do before I started all the electrical I disconnected the fuse so now I'm gonna go ahead. okay so now that we turn it on uh, we're gonna go ahead and pair the remote with the module so based on the instructions it says that we have to tap uh, key number five five times one two three four five this light blinks and now it's paired with the remote here I want to demonstrate the function of the remote. If I press this button, the white light turns on. If I press this button, the amber DRL. Just want to show you guys, it's nice and neat in here. There is no wires. The bracket itself sits very low to the, to the vehicle itself. And it doesn't rub with the windshield wipers, nor the actual hood of the vehicle. Let me go ahead and open it so you can see there's definitely clearance. Now let's go inside and let's find a good location for this remote. So I personally like to find a flat spot for this double-sided tape. Um, you can either mount it here on top of the dash. If you want to have more visibility of the buttons, you can mount it here as well. And the beauty about it is that we didn't have to run a uh, wire through the firewall in order to control the module. Now I'm going to go ahead and zip tie everything since everything's functioning properly. Make it nice and neat and covered up. Thank you very much for watching.